Um, so there was another pro wrestling show uh, that happened this week. Uh, it was from a new company, uh, American Joshi Company, called Skabon, I believe it's called, or Sukebon, yeah, Sukebon. But I'm sure they, you know, like the pronunciation is like Ske or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Look, look, we're we're, we're, American. we're learning. We're you well, know, look, we're American. Sukebon. Like, look, when our when our Japanese brothers like pronounce our American names, they don't. They don't have this huge like thing about making their their words sound American. They do it the best they can in the, in, in their tongue. I don't feel the same. I don't feel like I need to because they ha- do it that way. I don't feel needed. We have to try to attempt to butcher their language. I'm sorry, Zach I'm saving us with can. Zach saving us with the pronunciation. It is Skabon. Okay. Okay. Um. So they ran their first show this week. It was live on TikTok. Yeah. Uh, I pulled up the TikTok as it was happening. I was like, I can't exactly do this because it's like not like uh, like the refresh rate was like Stream it was okay. Was awful. It, it like, was awful. You yeah. couldn't hold it on on one tw- or uh, on uh, ten eighty. If you put it to seven twenty, it you might drop frames or it might boot you out. You had to just put it to auto or put it to like three sixty. Yeah. yeah. So that I was like, I'll just catch From it from the when... PC, not the phone. The PC. Oh, okay. I was using laptop, I, mean, I was yeah. using the phone when I when I pulled mine up. So I was like, eh, I'll just was, wait. Yeah. So luckily, the vi- the video link popped up on YouTube uh, a little while later. So yeah, that's the, the curtain version I had. So like overall, what I was watching, like um, so I had uh quite a busy weekend. I was in Massachusetts over the weekend. Uh, it flew back Sunday and I had, you know, connecting flights and stuff like that. So I got home and I was like, all right, it's only 90 minutes. So I'm going to watch this thing. Uh, but you know, I guess I was jet lagged and it caught up to me and I fell, fell asleep during the middle of the third match. Mm-hmm. Um, but and I can see what I meant. You put you asleep too. <laughs> so, um, I, I thought this thing was interesting. Um, I think it is a cool thing in a, in a company that is worthwhile and should exist. And yeah. if there's something to open just more um, spots for uh, Japanese women's wrestlers uh, in a something they enjoy and they get paid and can ultimately like make money on whatever like you know small level this is like and kind of become some somewhat of like a novelty thing because. It it does not really feel like like re- like pro wrestling. It like it has the outline of pro wrestling. Like yeah, there's time limits. There's factions. There's you know obviously wrestling matches and stuff yeah, like yeah. that. But it does not feel like it's a living, breathing. It's very contained to its own like universe. And I feel like right, you're gonna have to like pay attention to the lore. I think with this yeah. thing to really get the most out of it, right? right. Um, I I thought it was cool. Yeah, yeah. Arisa Nakajima coming out to mother. So like they had a bunch of uh non cleared music uh in this thing, right. which was pretty funny. Um, playing, look, playing the Pat Benatar and the Joan Jet. Yeah, I look. Um, a lot of the aesthetic choices in the music I really enjoyed, or whatever else. Um, and then we'll get into the wrestling later. But there's something there, like just from. There's something there just from the visual, like looking at the groups, looking at the groups' aesthetics, how distinct they are as as collectives and also inside of their um, unit and also as individuals that stand out. Like Midnight Player on the Vandals makes all the sense. Aoi makes all the sense in the world. Like she looks cool. Obviously, you know she has the Takumi and Roja haircut that we all fucking yeah. love. But it's like she looks she looks like somebody. And you want to see, and she looks mischievous or uh, mischievous, mischievous, mischievous. That's the word, mischievous. Like I'm putting mysterious and what mischievous. Like it looks. It, there's something there. Like seeing um, dangerous li- li- liaisons. All of them, except for maybe Risa. All of them. Like these are all badasses that will cut corners to get the job done. I, I can't wait to see what these evil motherfuckers do. I, I'm into that. Um, and then like the baby face uh, squads like uh like the cherry bombs and I think it's cherry bombs and also like the uh, the Harajuku stars mm-hmm. it's like you know that makes all the sense like you have Unagi or I think it's uh Sayaka Ichikawa or I Ich think it's Ichigo Sayaka Ichigo Sayaka okay I was going to call her Sayaka so and also like uh Maya 
like yeah, that makes that they make sense. They go to they go together, whatever else. The pretty girls with like almost like the Sailor Moonish type of uh, aesthetic with like they have similar outfits with some colors. Like I like I like the outfits and all that kind of stuff. Um and like, you know, some of the some of the, and I really like the opening match with the comedy and you got over their their characters and their factions as far as like who they are and what they do and everything and you and and also uh, I forgot what Yoniyama's name is in in, in Sukavan, but like it got over a lot of stuff. I just and I did like the post match angles for most of the o- stuff. Otaku chan. Otaku chan, yeah, that's right. Because she has like the spinner cap or everything. I, I I liked all of that. Um and I'm not necessarily like dying for this thing to be a knockdown drag out. I'm not expecting this to be a seatly main event five matches in a row. It's not. Right. Um I just feel like they're doing they're doing storyline telling as far as like this person just came in, what faction they belong to, do they want to join factions? And then you see, you know, and then you go from there to also the descent or what led to the upset victory in the main event that leads to the title match between Nakajima and uh and Sayaka. Cool. They're telling stories in the ring, right? Like this is one of the things that like they didn't do with say uh Nomads last year or two years ago. Um I just wonder how how what rate of these shows gonna come at us to where we can actually like dig our teeth into actually getting a feel for this promotion actually is supposed to like this is just the 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 beginning and we'll see from there because like i'm lukewarm on the beginning i'm willing to give this more, another chance uh because i did like the opener i did like the uh the third match between um stray cat and midnight player uh it was fun seeing the x was konami um it was funny also seeing konami basically like a throwback to what her young girl gear was when she was you know uh trained by and working underneath uh oscar kana uh but like you know, to see that kind of talent in the ring, to see Konami in um, in Miyuki Takase, Taka, uh, I forgot what Takase's uh, name is. I was just, Queen it's of Takase Hearts. Something. I actually know Queen of Hearts. Uh, yeah, Queen. Yeah, it's Queen, Queen of Hearts. Hearts something yeah. Takase. Yeah. Uh, uh, to see her and, and also uh, the third person there, and they have a match. Where basically, like they're going through the motions. Yeah. Uh, I, and, I, and and that three way was like that's disappointing because I know what Takase can do. I know what Konami can do. Like they're they're great wrestlers. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I thought some of the wrestling... wrestling comes. The wrestling has to come around eventually, and I think it will. But because they're focused more on getting over the characters right now. But it's but um, and I don't necessarily mind it. I'm just like, okay, that's fine. This stuff's working so far for me to get. It's done enough for me to want to watch it again. But if it's going to be more of the same for the second thing, I, I might I might tap out. Yeah, I think this will have an audience uh, that is looking for an entry point that maybe feels yeah. like stardom is too overwhelming with the amount of events that they have yeah. and like the seemingly like very deep, uh, you know, storylines that yep. people, people were just like, yeah, man, I they date I back just, to other promotions. Yeah. They're just like, yeah, I just can't, you know, sit through whatever. But like, I can imagine people, if this catches like on YouTube or TikTok the right way, this actually kind of becomes something that I think a lot of hardcore Joshi fans will end up resenting. Um, I, <laughs> like, You're right. <laughs> like they will see they be, be like, hold on. This is people be like, man, I really like this stuff. And like, this is the stuff I, you know, this is cool. Like, and they be right. like, hold on. Why y'all ain't never like none of this shit. Like it's, it's going to get real yeah. like something like You're that right. usher, like that, like that, 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 that y'all, y'all, y'all made this, this shit for them. Like, <laughs> You're right. I didn't even think about that, but you're right. Um, um you know, like I think some of the Lucha Underground comparisons or uh, glow. The glow, I, the glow I get from the aesthetic. Obviously, the, the wrestling's still better. Yeah. Um, I but the Lucha Underground is like this is pretty self-contained. If they talk about like relationships people had in the past, they'll talk about it and making it to their storyline that's happening in front of you right now, as opposed to let's go back, let's go back, let's go back, and have someone that you know on a podcast like this explain what happened in, in Acres Girls. Right from 2016 or 17. So yeah, um, I I agree with that, and I think that um, in whatever form or fashion, like uh, this existing and this exceeding will be good. 
because obviously we know what the situation is, how dire it is, uh, the scene is in Japan, um, outside of Stardom and Tokyo Joshua Pro. So yeah, like this is a way for them to for a lot of these wrestlers or some of the best wrestlers in the world to continue uh, being able to do this uh, for a living as they're already probably you know working a a full a, a real gig as opposed to you know being pro wrestlers fine by me uh and we're, look those the the matches or whatever else they'll come like I don't, i'm not saying this thing is going to turn into you know um the fucking um grand prix or anything like that but like they'll have banger matches and memorable matches based off of like these characters and their interactions and the fallout from them turning on each other on that kind of stuff. Like that's already instant right now. So they they as long as like the matches officially come, I think they'll do fine. And obviously, you know, the bar is very low for the for people that do not watch Joshi wrestling. Um as far as knowing how talented these people are. Like I'm sure they've heard of some of these people from you know the magazines or whatever else. People, you know, see the Joshi freaks talk, like us talk about these people in the stardom or whatever else or whatever else. But it's one thing to hear it. It's another thing to finally see it. And if they have a Rissa Nakajima or sorry, Commander uh Nakajima Russell at what she normally at her normal level that she does as as ceiling or the hell, let's say you put 70% on it, you put a cap on it to make it make it you know less violent or whatever else. People are really going to enjoy what they see if she's the first champion. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm I'm like I said, I'm going to give this a uh, chance or two more. Um, and like I like what I've seen in some aspects, but like you know, at this point, like with all the wrestling that's around, um, I think it's smart for them to have gone with this route as opposed to being like we're going to be, you know, a standard church promotion uh, with young girls going out there getting their ass kicked. And squashed out and bringing, you know, you doing her normal you thing as opposed to crush you. I I I think this is for the best. I think this is for the best. Now, I think there's a chance, I think this is more, what do you call it? Uh this appeals to more, this has a chance to reach more people, a lot more people. So yeah, it, it doesn't have to be, you know, stardom uh, America version. It wouldn't, it doesn't have to be ran like how I would run if I had a, a five million dollars in my back pocket, right? Mm-hmm. So yeah, I'm 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 good with that. Um yeah, so like I, I I'm gonna check out the rest of the show, and I'm gonna check out whenever they do a new one. Um, it looks expensive. I'll say it that. Does. Um, it does. Like they are booking buildings in New York. I think they drew like 750 people. Um, that's what they claim. That's what they say. Yeah, it, I, I'm yeah, sure they, the attendance that's folks what they claim. like JD will run this down and yeah. figure it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember we 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 regularly talk to people like JD and Velcash that like look that that will look at frame by or look at like year by year photos of venues and events and old numbers. Be like, hey, bro, you saying this number is bigger than that old number? You look at these crowds. That crowd smaller than, than the old crowd, or what, what's going on? Yeah. Um. So like you know that seven that seven thirty that sounds dubious to me, considering like how many uh tickets did that NWA All Women's Pay Per View sell? Like a thousand. Yeah, eleven hundred. It was, it was not great, right? You think that I don't? I, I'd be surprised. Obviously, there were a different uh, group of people involved with this, whatever. It was, but to say that like they would do that high percentage uh, compared to that, obviously, really, really surprised me. I don't know how many people would have to fly in to make this made 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 that work. Like I think, and also I don't. It would have been everybody that we know and we talked to on Twitter had to fly in to get to the sound. <laughs> Like I would, I think they gotta they gotta try to market this in a way to where it's like this New York thing, like that you you have to see while you're in New York or uh, or stable or stable to like whatever big events are you know happening in pro wrestling and hopefully grab somebody like hey I want to check this out right Um, like if you want to staple this to like you know uh, all out you know. Or double or nothing. I'm or, wondering yeah. who, who's behind this. Um, and I'm sure we'll eventually get more clarification on that. I feel like I have a couple leads I can follow that may get me close to the answer. So I'm going to probably try to follow up on that and see what the, um, you know, kind of see what's behind this, if that's mm-hmm. possible. But um, yeah, man. So, 